<laughs> Give me that rump. Dump. <laughs> I said left. Because our character's named Dump. Uh, Ooh, right. There's a glowy in the right, though. What the hell? Oh, it's the poison <laughs> thing. That's a cheating. I feel like Sir Lancelot whenever I do that. Uh oh. Oh. Yep. Yeah, here it is. This is an. Oh, I see. <gasps> oh, yes. Now I kind of remember this. Yep. Yeah. It's just a pain in That's the ass. That's fun. That's actually really cool, though. Can yeah. I just be honest with you? That's fucking sweet. <laughs> You can uh, see all shit. the dead bodies. On yeah, the I didn't. Thing too. Yeah, I didn't notice that. That was cool. That's really cool. Oh, that's how you get the things on the side. Nope. <laughs> Not. Nope. No. I didn't do that yet. Well, because it's like it leads to a dead end. And then you drop down. And oh. Then you well, hold on. Hold on a sec. I mean, you probably want to get the rest. No, see, I can do that. Yeah. And then you have to climb back up. Because you can climb back up in this game. Yeah. <clears throat> Watch, it's not going to be worth it. Uh, it's probably like a Stone of Ethereal Eyes or something. Why can't I like, shoot the lever with an arrow? I don't know. Controlling anything. Oh, oh, that's right. Rapier. Mercury Rapier. Freddie Mercury's Rapier. Yeah. He was here once. Freddie Mercury was in the Tower of Latria. Yeah, it was not a good time for him. They released an album about it. Yeah. It was called... Virgin Remember Black. that uh, uh, News of the World? Yeah. That was uh, inspired by this stupid thing. Oh. Alright, so now I don't remember the tactic here. Uh, you don't go across this. You can't this. go that way until you shut it down. Yes. So you have to just sprint across it. Look at that. Ooh, I got a... A thing. Another key. I kind of exited the menu too quickly to see what it was, but... Uh, Warden key. Warden's key, okay. I think that will unlock the other doors. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I want to kind of check out what's over here first. Let's kind of ex exhaust our yeah, possibilities. Yeah, that's obviously to... where we need to go. Right. Such ferocity I know, destroying why are you so, that so fucking... mad at the barrels? Huh? Yeah! <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm scared. What? I saw it move! I don't know what's in there! I mean, in this world, it's kind of understandable. Ugh. Yeah, right. Dude, being in this world would suck. Yeah. yeah. It would suck ransom nope. butthole. It appears to be locked. Shit. Well, there must be another other doors that I can open right now with that key. So let's go back and check it out. We got Sage Freak. We got the... This is kind of... I knew you were going to say that. I just knew. I knew it. <laughs> when, you say, when you say we got the... And then you pause. I know it's <laughs> happening. I know it. Oh, sorry. I get hiccups sometimes. You're so predictable, Billy. Oh so God. fucking predictable. The one thing I will say with this though is like it's kind of been cool trying to figure it out. Like it's actually kind of interesting because like I barely remember anything from this area. Yeah, it's kind of like a maze. It is a maze. It's amazing. All right, so I can't open this one. Can I do Lord Riddell? Probably not. Hey, you need to calm your tits, man. Yeah, okay. It's not like you're gonna die in there, okay? Oh. Okay, so this... Shut up. Maybe... <clears throat> well, let's try Sage Freak again. Warden's Key, I'm assuming, might have, like, just a, a one special door that it opens or something. Yeah. Would be my assumption. Uh, but hey, man. Let's figure it out. Let's figure... You know, you remember that Nickelodeon show, Figure It Out, with Summer Standards and her rocking tits? You know the one. You know what John's talking about. Hi, I'm Summer Sanders. I don't remember her rocking tits, though. I don't think she had rocking tits. I'm just saying. Hey! Okay, it's these doors. There it is. I don't think she had rocking tits either, but... Now I gotta look it up. Uh, uh, I don't think... I mean... Summer Sanders. She was a... Wasn't she like an Olympic something? She was like an Olympic swimmer or something like that? No. Pretty sure she was. 
And if you're going to be an Olympic swimmer, you yep. can't have swimmer. Rock, you can't have rocking tits if you're going to be a, uh, an Olympic swimmer. Sorry to say, it's not aerodynamic. Let me type in rocking tits. <laughs> Just see what comes up. <laughs> I don't think any of these are Summer Sanders. No, but I mean that first one. It's arguable that she even has rocking tits. Yeah. Okay. She looks like a crack whore, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Summer Sanders tits. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. no nothing rocking. Hey, they're not bad. Yeah. They're not bad. Yeah. Hey, that's not even her. No, it's not. <laughs> I like how they have <laughs> you put in Summer Sanders rocking tits, and it comes up with pictures of the show, or from the show. Figure it out. <laughs> It's got, there's like a kid's face I saw. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, okay. <laughs> Stephanie's secret talent is that she's got rocking tits. <laughs> and she plays with them. It's hey, just... The, the way I boy. think, it's like, whenever they... <laughs> they have the, um... This is this person's thing. Yeah, yeah. It It has a microphone on the kid, and the kid's just... That's pretty much exactly what it was. <laughs> Just real fucking loud, breathing really heavy. What an egocentric TV show for children. Some of their fucking talents weren't even talents. I remember there was one girl. Her talent was that she let um, her dog drink water out of her mouth. It's like, that's not a talent. That's just fucking gross. Yeah, that's gross. That's <laughs> just gross. <laughs> Dude. Tina's talent is she's a fucking whore. <laughs> Tina's talent is that she's a compulsive liar. <laughs> Don't believe a, a single fucking word she says. I let my dog eat my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the secret on air episode. To figure it out. <laughs> I put cottage cheese on my pussy and it licks it up. It's like, how old are you? 12? <laughs> Not even. This, this is wrong. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you should get help. Yeah. It's Say like, yeah, psychiatric your, help, please. It's like, what's your fucking problem? <laughs> Did somebody touch you when you were a kid? Jesus Christ. My dog. <laughs> My dog. Because <laughs> I'm still a kid. <laughs> oh, I think, uh, we, I think some gargoyles come alive down here. Oh, but we're behind the thingy. Yes, sir. That's fun. Yes, Herm. I'm um, looking for fucking hands to come out of there. Yeah. Like, you might be correct. I, I think if, some guards. Can I shoot them? Okay. Okay, I guess not. Well, they might still. I just might have to trigger them. Who knows? Most of the time, this, oh. these games are good about that, where they they would be alive. Yeah. You might be correct, though. I, I get the sneaking suspicion that something is going to go wrong here. I mean, they can't just let you waltz over. No. They can't. Someone's got to get that lighting fixed. You see that flicker? That, that uh, tower? Fucking... Yeah. How many arrows does that thing have? Also... Yeah, it would run out at some point. Like, it's expensive to have that many arrows. Ugh. I hate it when they do that in this game. They fucking... They they deliberately put in, like, this really open area, and you assume that something's gonna come out at you. Yeah. Alright, I don't know if it's a boss battle there, but that fog gate, probably not. I think no. that opens up behind. Yeah, I think it, it looks like it comes out right behind the, uh... arrow statue thing. Yeah. So I'm not assuming that, the that that's a boss. Nice candle. Freak. Okay. There's more gargs. I swear one of those is going to fucking come alive. That's what it feels like. Yeah, but... Is it... Were they ever a thing? I don't know. Yeah. Do they come alive at some point? I don't know about it in here. But, I mean, gargoyles have been a thing in this series. And what's the what's the boss here? It's like the jailkeeper, he said, or something? I think so. Is he easy? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember either. 
I'm afraid because I got a decent chunk of souls. Um, not enough for a level, or like maybe three, maybe four grand short of a level, but still. See, then meanwhile, you reach a door, and then there's going to be something behind you the entire time. I think, oh yeah, this is the way to yurt. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, to yurt. And then on what the other f- side is a... fuck are we? Yeah, that's a cathedral. Now it's a cathedral. I remember that fight. Is that the jail dude? No, that's where the one bitch is that she can kill herself or something, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not even a boss fight. There is a boss fight down there, though. But she just kills herself, doesn't she? Or am I thinking of a different level? Uh, There's like a maiden chick that like just kills herself. Uh, or like yeah. she's not even a fight, like a boss fight. Like you can hit her, like one hit her and she's dead. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's on the other side. There's another door and you can get to Yerp. 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 <laughs> Yerp. This is such a interesting level. So there's no, no enemies. Yeah, that's what's creepy about it. It's like there's nothing going on. Like I haven't fought an enemy. I mean, it feels like a little while here. You think this is a jail? Yeah. So why would they have our, you know enemies over here? Yeah. If they don't expect anyone to get out of this jail, that's true. It's very true. I like that. Uh, that's kind of like their thought process, though, when designing this level. Anyways, they don't have enemies fucking everywhere, which is cool. I like this that. one's like crushing loneliness. Yeah, right. Ugh. I <laughs> bet you want to go to that cathedral. Pull that lever, baby. But now, who the fuck opened this thing? Yeah, right. That's the question I have. It's got motion detectors on it. I mean, someone's got to be standing there to flip the lever. Hit the lever. <laughs> Hit the lights! Grandma, flip it quick! <laughs> it's like an Ace Ventura and Green Wild or whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The thing is, they're in broad daylight, even if you turned off the lights. Yeah, right. It wouldn't have done anything. <laughs> it would have just gotten slightly darker and it's like, I can still see still you. Still see. But then, I feel like that would have been funnier if you actually did end up doing that and it's just, yeah. like, after all the, quick! And then just... Yeah. And it just goes, like, just a, a shade bit. lower. Yeah. <laughs> like... No, then they'd have to change the shutter speed on their cameras and they can't do that and have the technology at the time. Yeah. Oh... <clears throat> That's Later. <laughs> fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't want to do it right now. On your way back, you could do it. Because, I mean, you're just going to have to go back down the stairway anyway. That so you could just true. take that as a shortcut. That's true. You're very smart. Let's go high five. I hit my glasses on accident. <laughs> <laughs> and all in my finger, guys. Hey! <laughs> do you really have to break all the pews? Is that him? No, that's just creepy. No, no, that's that one guy who sells your shit. He, there's something about if you kill him, there you get something. I don't remember what it was. Can you take it? You have to take his keys though. Can yeah. You get pissed if you take his keys. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I think he comes after me if I take the keys. No. No. All right. Bye. I think he's a humble servant. Yeah, but I think it's to the girl who's in there that in like the boss fight. I feel like he he helps her in some way. Should I kill him? I don't know. I know you'll get bad points if you do. Like you'll go closer dark. <laughs> he says he won't cause me trouble. I feel like he's a fucking liar. Let me you look. You gonna look it up? Let me look at Alright, I'm gonna spoil all the the weight of this decision. <laughs> I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll have a, ca- a piece of candy in the meantime. Once again, this episode of Finn Strap Cat is sponsored by Earheads Extreme Sourfuls. I'm gonna face the other direction so I don't actually attack here. That would be a poor choice, maybe. Humble servant. Well, how about this? Next time on Chin Strap Traps, we decide whether or not we're gonna kill this dude. Yeah.
Bye!